Stephen, a, a bad day at the office today, unfortunately. What do you think went wrong? Um, which, to be fair, the performance that we're used to, I don't think was there from, from us. Um, we lost and puffed at times and tried to find a solution that we never got. But in terms of the performance we've had from coming in to now, I think the performance we give there was, wasn't was up to scratch of what we expect from each other. And like I said, from what the performances we've had pr prior to that, I think. And I think when you do that and you don't perform the way you, you know you should, you're going to get caught cold more often than not. And what would you put that down to? Because it's, it's uncharacteristic. No, yeah, absolutely. You're exactly right. Um, to put it down to, we, we'll reassess that over the weekend. We'll get the game sent out. We'll have a look. We'll watch it. We'll, we'll reassess that on Monday and, and see where we went wrong. Um, but like I said, I think performance-wise, it, was, yeah, it wasn't quite there for us. The manager said, unfortunately, he felt that when, when you're not playing well, the key thing is to try and make sure that you still stay in the game. And he, he didn't feel that we did enough on that front. Would you agree? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I think so, yeah. To get where we want to be, you're not going to have... It's not going to be playing sailing every week. You're going to have games where, like today, you're out of it, but that's when you need to find a solution yourself and you know, and roll the sleeves up and think, right, if we're not at it, we make sure we don't get beaten. We take it into next week and regroup and go again the week after. But I think, like you says today, once it was we went behind, we we kind of lacked that. Like the manager says in the in the dressing room, to get get the game by the neck and go right. Let's get us back in the game and don't think we got that. I think uh, some of the fans are saying that they felt Alawa were, were just crowding the middle of the park. From, from a midfielder's perspective, how difficult was it just to get some time and space here today? Um, it can be. Um, we expect that. From, from teams I think that's where we need to as players realise that on the park um, when the ball goes down one side maybe try and then come back out and go the other side to try and shift the team across because once you get a team sat in and they can pack they are hard to break down not just from the Halloway team we'll, we'll, we've had it quite a few times this season we'll get it again and I think that's up to us as players on the pitch to recognise that to, like it says to, if the ball goes into the final third or out one side maybe don't try and create something straight away get it back out and go the other side and move people about because so I think once we do that and when we do move the ball quick enough and well enough that's where you see we hurt teams most weeks Do you think the scoreline was a fair reflection because some of the fans were, were kind of shouting you know, we did have chances of our own today unfortunately we, we just couldn't find that, that clinical edge um, I think sometimes the scoreline you know can you know, look, look at the game it might flatter one team might flatter another and might not have a true reflection on the game at the end of the day we, we've lost the game do you know what I mean so yeah we did have chances we had a couple towards the end a couple of half chances I know Seb had a great effort saved in the first half so we did have a couple of good half chances um, to, to get on the score sheet but inevitably it wasn't to be and, but it was 1-0, 2-0 we, we still never got what we came for at the end of the day so that's all that matters You said it wasn't the first time we've had that kind of style of play and it won't be the last I guess if anything then is, is it important that we, we learn from today to, to get stronger when we do face it again? Yeah, 100% like we have the conversation just now about that's when we need to recognise when teams are going to make it difficult for us maybe try something different um, but at the same time still believe in what we're doing is right the way the manager wants us to play um, like I says trust each other on the park but like he says we'll look at that again over the weekend we'll, we'll have a look at it Monday we'll reassess that so when we do come up against that again we recognise it straight away on the park to then put it right and get the alternative to then take the lead get, if we go behind get back in the game and go in front so we need to recognise that sooner rather than later We could hear the manager wasn't very happy in the dressing room but can we ask what was the, the players not individually but collectively what was the, the initial reaction to that were the players accepting of it? Yeah, 100%. We're all disappointed. We know we didn't play well enough. Like he says at the start there, we, we know we the performance we wanted to put in wasn't there as a team, individually. Um, the manager came in, was unhappy with it, and rightly so, like I says, totally agree with that because where we want to get to, we need to get put a performance in far better than that. And if we're going to now sort of you know, move on to, to the Dumbarton game next week, uh, if we are to, to address things, what do you think needs to change and how can we go about getting three points from that upcoming match? I still think we need to believe what we're doing is right, the way we want to play the game, 100%. Um, obviously, need to keep the ball and create better chances with it. And when we do get our chance, because like you says, we did have chances today. We need to put them, them away when we do get them. But also, on the flip side of that, the goals we lost, I think we need to defend them better. It's not just about taking the chances when you get them. It's about you know defending well as well. And like I says, we'll still believe what we're doing, but going into the game next week, obviously the game now is done for the day. Like I says, we'll have a look at it, we'll reassess it, have a good week's training. And then we, we go into Dunbarton with full belief and that we're going to come out with three points because we have to, to go and win the game. Here's hoping we can. Stephen, always yeah. difficult after a feat, but uh, thank you very much for your time. No problem, Lewis. Thank you. Thanks.